In the year 2008, when I was divorced in school, one popular advice my family members gave me was, "You see, you need to get your first degree before you can decide to do anything else." Some people told me, "Without degrees, nobody will respect you." In my country, certificates and degrees are big deals. If you decide not to have degrees, then everyone will be crying to get you to see how your future is unsafe. I thought something was wrong with this mindset, and I wanted to prove them wrong. I believe that the real life accomplishments are what would make people respect me, and not the degrees. I was right. About eight years after I left school, I had my first breakthrough in business. It stopped to matter whether I have a degree or not. Today, I have university graduates working for me, and most of them don't even know whether I went to school or have a PhD. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can be rich even if you don't have a degree. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now, here's the thing: becoming rich is like driving a car. You do need to learn and practice how to drive a car, but you don't need a university degree to do that. Maybe the above analogy is oversimplified. Here is another analogy: speaking a foreign language. Learning to speak a foreign language is very difficult, but again, you don't need a degree to do it. Becoming rich is not easy, but school even makes it more difficult because the more time you spend in school, the more difficult it becomes to be wealthy. And I'll explain that. You see, regardless of where you school in the world, nobody teaches you anything about how to make money. As if that is not enough headache. If you school in a poor country, you might end up spending too many years to get a single degree. And if you school in a rich country like America, well, your case might even be worse because you might leave school with an unbelievable amount in college loans. The two cases above are evil against young people. First, spending too much time in school, learning nothing about money is evil, and getting out of school with seventy thousand dollars college debt is evil. Learning a language and making money. I think making money is like learning a new language. You don't need a university degree to speak a new language. Instead, the three things you need are your willingness to learn, a book or teacher to teach you, and the speaker of that language to speak with you. If you can get all of the above three ingredients, then you can learn any language without going to a university. Now, when it comes to money, the three things you need are your willingness and determination to get rich. The education about wealth and having a few people who, as well, want to be rich as your friends. With these three ingredients, you can be rich, even if you dropped out of high school. Willingness to be rich. Almost every human being wants to be rich, but don't confuse wishes with desires. Wishes are weak. Desire is an obsession. When I decided to become rich, I read every book I could ever find about money. When I said every book, I'm not exaggerating. I read every single book I could ever find about money. I read any newspaper article I could find about money. I chose my friends carefully, so I didn't make friends with the people who don't want to be rich. I dreamt of becoming rich, read up to 50 books every year, mostly about money, and discussed with my friends about money. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about obsession, curiosity, and strong desire. I thought all days about how I could turn some things, anything, to money, and I took every possible action I could. When I failed, I cried and went back to the battlefield. I mean, you know what I'm talking about here, and that's willingness. However, today when I meet people who tell me that they want to be rich, what I see in them is the opposite of who I was when I wanted to be rich. For example, I have friends who want to be rich, but they never read a single book about money. Believe me. I'm telling you the truth. I have friends who are 33 and 35 years old, and they have never read any meaningful books about money. Some of them, who mistakenly read a few books about money, make all sort of excuses. If you make an excuse, I know that you're not willing to do that thing you make excuses about. Is that simple? Here's the thing: when something is important enough, people don't think about the obstacles in their way. I once read a story of an old woman who found her grandchild under her car in an accident. This woman was over 70 years old, and there she was looking at her grandchild dying under a car. The woman put together all strength in her, held the car, and with a superman spirit, the woman pushed away the car from on top of her grandchild. 
After some time, this woman looked at the car, and she couldn't believe that she pushed away that car. Yes, that woman did push away the car. Her Superman spirit did it. You see. This old woman could have stayed there and made an excuse, but the matter at that point was too important and too urgent for her to waste a second. When people make excuses about whatever reason why they cannot be rich, it's because they don't have a strong desire that should make them forget every excuse. Do you want to be rich? Close your eye every night and imagine what it means to never worry about money. Then wake up each morning to be obsessed with the idea of getting rich. Read everything you can find about money. Discuss money and business ideas with your friends, spouse, and relatives, and be willing to take action whenever you discover an idea, even if you're not sure it could succeed. Speak in a foreign language with native speakers. As I shared with you earlier, one of the fastest ways to learn how to speak a foreign language is to speak that language with the native speakers. From my experience, one of the easiest ways to become successful is to read the stories of the people who have become successful in the past. Starting as a young adult, I loved to read the stories of successful people. Up till today, I love to read biographies of the people who have achieved greatness with their lives. As I write the script for this video, I have on my table the biography of Albert Einstein, which I'm planning to read immediately when I'm done with the book I'm reading now. The reason why I find stories of successful people very inspiring is because when you read the biographies of the people we all know to be very successful today. Oftentimes, you'll see that these men and women are ordinary human beings who overcame several obstacles to achieve success. This understanding will help you to believe in yourself. And when a man or woman believes in himself or herself, nothing in the world can stop him or her from becoming successful. And that's the reason why our team has launched a new YouTube channel that was designed to share the stories and biographies of the people who have become successful in life. We call this new channel Fame TV. And we promise you'll enjoy it as much as you enjoy this video. Kindly look at the description box to join other smart people like you who have joined the Fame TV platform. Now, let me quickly say this: this video was not made to discourage you from going to the university. While I don't have any degree or believe it's useful for me, the few years I spent in school helped me to sharpen my leadership and communication skills because I got involved with school politics. School may be helpful for you too, in some way or another, but it's not a place to learn how to be rich. Why you may get as many degrees as you want, if your primary aim is to become rich, well, it's like learning a foreign language. You don't need a degree to learn a foreign language. Read some books about the language you want to learn. Be willing to learn. Practice and make mistakes. Be obsessed about that language and find a few native speakers to speak with. Thank you so much for watching our videos.